Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's topic is the sternocloidal mastoid muscle. Sternocloidal mastoids are often abbreviated to the SEMs. They are one of the largest and one of the most superficial of the cervical spine muscles. The SEM has two branches, the sternal branch and the clavicular branch. The sternal branch originates on the top part of the sternum called the manubrium. The clavicular branch originates on the medial aspect of the collarbone, which is the clavicle. These muscles run, these muscle branches run superior and posterior, and they attach to the skull at the mastoid process of the temporal bone and at the superior nuchal line. They are innervated. The motor innervation of the sternocleidomastoids is the spinal accessory nerve, which is cranial nerve number 11, and the sensory innervation of the sternocleidomastoid is the ventral rami of C2 and C3. The concentric action of the sternocleidomastoids is when it works unilaterally, that means one side at a time, it is contralateral cervical rotation and ipsilateral cervical lateral bending. Now what does that mean? It means that when one side of the muscle is working, say the left side of the muscle is being contracted, the head turns to the opposite side, that's the contralateral lateral rotation, and then bends to the same side. This is the ipsilateral lateral flexion. So if the left side is contracting, turn to the right and bend to the left. Now, if the muscle is contracted bilaterally, it means both sides are being contracted, it is cervical flexion. And also the sternocleidomastoids are accessory breathing muscles. So during forced inhalation, these muscles will assist in the breathing process by raising the sternum.